I would say that that would be an ideal just society. I feel like a realistic just society would be striving towards that, striving towards doing the right thing, striving towards building up that rather than having it. Would you agree? Why were we discussing how close the Socialist Party was to that? Yes, I'm saying it was just for people to earn what they have, to work for it, to earn those wages, and to do that rather than have the wealthy's money go towards the poor when they have earned that money and they've worked for that money. I think it's unjust to take from someone else to give to someone else so they can benefit from having to work this hard during your career. Uh, under Wilson. Wouldn't that be seen? That was a major part of the progressive movement that was not accomplished by Roosevelt, though. Could you also say that Roosevelt's big stick politics was less progressive because he resorted to bullying other countries? Could that have to be progressive? Yes. Yeah, is that is diplomacy, if their diplomacy strategies were so similar, uh, is that an area where they're really that different? I think it could be a factor of which was more progressive. I mean, you have to analyze everything and not just one part. So I think diplomacy would be very much part of it. Isn't it much more significant that Woodrow Wilson passed all four of the progressive amendments, the 16th, 17th, 18th, and 19th, which all accomplished progressive goals? I agree. I think because of those and because of their progressive amendments, he would be more progressive than Theodore as well. In Roosevelt's first term, he even admitted that he was less progressive because he did not want to anchored the old Republican guard of his party. So he, so to say that when half of it, his presidency was more conservative, it'd be tough to argue that he'd be more progressive than Wilson. What Wilson did address was uh, rights for African Americans and uh, to stop lynchings. And uh, Roosevelt was slightly more successful than Wilson in those areas now. But wouldn't you say because of the women's suffrage movement and the progressive amendments that would tip Wilson to be more progressive? than Roosevelt because he accomplished slightly more? Well, uh, going off of what Grant said, um, would you consider uh, Woodrow Wilson to be very progressive even though he was outwardly racist and supported such things such as uh, uh, the birth of a nation and things like that that were openly racist and were openly against progressive goals? Would Theodore Roosevelt then create his own progressive party? That the party moves. It just let the votes, didn't it? Well, Wilson was still victorious because the progressive side, the progressive people in the nation, voted that they had a better progressive candidate was Wilson in 1912. Or did he win just because the Republican Party, like the progressives of the Republican Party, didn't want to split from that party and join the progressive party of Roosevelt? Doesn't that show them that? Um, if they knew that Roosevelt wouldn't be able to outpull Wilson, doesn't that show that they really didn't have faith in Roosevelt as a progressive? But, um, just a quick poll, show of hands here, and we'll move on. Uh, how many would take Roosevelt in this? In this you'd be more progressive. Raise your hand for Roosevelt. I don't know enough about Wilson. Yeah. And raise your hand for Wilson. Okay. And I would have to probably. It's tough. I'd probably go with Wilson, although Roosevelt's the one that did start the whole thing and took on the Republican Party. Russ, and because he had the money to save the government, the federal government kept allowing him to continue that because that was their own choice. Wouldn't you say it's the people's job to protect themselves from corporate abuse and to form unions like the Women's Christian Temperance Union to rise up against them and just to fight for better working conditions and wages? Then people often can cause more problems. Wasn't that more on the part of people? Yeah, wasn't that more yeah, on the part of the union? Could you also say that sometimes the corporations and other entities have helped out the government, which can cause bias among it to turn a blind eye? Would you say that the government arbitrarily regulated corporations and let everyone go, just like they did in 2007? Yeah, good and bad. Yeah, I think it's 